Okay, so the first ever virtual Emmys were full of surprises last night. In one bit, host Jimmy Kimmel sprayed a ballot with disinfectant, and then he set it on fire. He had Jennifer Aniston try to put it out, but as you can see, the fire came back up. So Jen gave it another, here we go, few blasts. Get it, Jen. Mm -hmm. And in another bit, the Friends star reunited with her lady castmates. I loved this after she returned home. Watch. Courtney's there? Yeah, of course I'm here. We live together. You do? Uh, yeah, we've been roommates since 1994, Jimmy. But Hello. I thought that was, oh, I had no idea. Is, is, is this live TV? Unbelievable. Hey. This, Lisa Kudrow, you live, in, you live there too? Yeah, where else would I live? <laughs> Jeff, what do you think of these bits? Yeah. Listen, I, I'm trying to be forgiving, like I said at the top of the show, with the delay and things like that. I don't think this bit would have worked if it was perfectly filmed. I think it was just terrible. What? I mean, it was bad. I it was bad. I thought I was laughing. I ate it up. I love seeing... You weren't laughing when that clip was playing. Because I've already seen it a handful of times. You were hysterically laughing well, at I what wasn't, point? I wasn't, like, crying face emoji laughing. <laughs> okay, tears weren't shooting out of my eyeballs <laughs> laughing. But it, for me, it just felt nostalgic and cool. And, geez, I guess I don't have a good sense of humor? No, I mean, usually people that say G's do have a good sense of humor. Oh uh, you know, I'm gonna have to agree with <laughs> Jeff on this one. Uh, you know, honestly, Jeff, I think we're learning that certain things are gonna work in post-COVID times and certain things Courtney's aren't. I think there. the delay really kind of hurt that bit. So I agree with you. I think we're gonna learn that Courtney, monologues yeah. are probably a little bit better mm -hmm. suited. All right, all right. Okay, so another first for the Emmys. Um, all of the awards were presented live to the winners in their home. So as you can see, check it out. The presenters were wearing hazmat tuxedos when handing over the awards, okay? But as actor uh, Rami Youssef found out, the presenters show up even when you don't win. Watch. <laughs> oh, <my> <gasps> mm. That's horrible. I would be like, yeah, I won. And then I'd be like, oh my gosh, wait, they're turning around and going to Jeff's house? Look at Jeff's house? face. Jeff is like, it, that's crazy. It, Jeff, it's just what would like, you do? I don't know. I, I'd push him in the pool. I wouldn't <laughs> like that. And take the award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Jeff, I looked at this and it made me think about Showtime at the Apollo. I don't know if you remember, but uh, if you weren't good on amateur night, they would boo you off. And it was wildly entertaining for the people watching. But I, I know some people that that happened to. And really? it was really tra traumatizing. Yes, I know a couple like people. Like the hook almost. Yes, like literally the, the Did same the man would come Did the ever happen or was that more of like just for like a game show? I think maybe that was like in the 20s and 30s they with did vaudeville. The hook? They did the kind of long exaggerated hook. But it was kind of like he would literally come on with a, 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 a a broom and sweep you off stage and the crowd would go crazy if you started getting booed and so I think you know it, I think that was entertaining for me to because you don't know who's gonna win but for the person that lost it's like the it's gong show. hurt yeah it's fun to watch it's not fun being the person gonged or right. have the hook on I feel like I would have been gonged or had the hook on right Is Jeff you you've done stand-up can you imagine that one time you gathered <laughs> all your courage right if you guys haven't seen Jeff do stand-up we have it somewhere on our YouTube go to Daily Blast live and you finally garnered all your courage, Jeff, wrote out all your jokes, and then you get the gong or the hook or the boo, what would you do? Well, if there was a gong there, I probably would have got it. But there, <laughs> no, unfortunately, there was only it. three people there. But, uh, you, know, you know, if you do something like that, you got to pick yourself up and, you know, go back to the drawing board and get better at it. You know, and we take these life lessons as a chance to learn, right? And now we take these life lessons and it's a chance to go hide under a rock. That's not how life is. You got to take the punches and just get better at it. Yep, you dust your shoulders off, Jeff. That's what you do. Okay, so Jeff's... Al, I hate you. I see your face. Jeff, what? stick around. We'll see you later in the show.